What's going on everybody? So, uh, today is going to be the day that I actually install the long tube headers. So, I actually purchased the, well you know what, before we get into that, let's, because I mean you're watching this because I'm talking about headers and you may be thinking about getting them, the set for your LS swap as well. Now there's many options. You, as obviously, there's not a lot of space. Now, I'm missing a fender well that would be coming in this general area right here. Uh, so, that would also be taking up some more space. Um, and there are three options that you have, okay, as far as styles. You got shorties. So, there's shorties, as you can see right here. The name is what they are. They are short. Um, you can get a set of these off of eBay for like 100 bucks. Uh, if you're wanting to go really cheap, but be warned, they are terrible. Uh, you can find some good ones out there. There are some people that actually take pride in it, but the particular set that I got are terrible. So maybe consider getting one that you know has a little bit better rating. Maybe it costs a little bit more if that's what you're going to go with is shorties. Now there's also mid length. Now mid length, obviously are a little bit longer than this but they're not quite as long as long tubes and they're actually they're obviously going to be better than these because these shorties uh though they do work fantastic inside here uh if they're not going back to a y they don't really work as well because they really have they don't have the scavenging that they need and that y actually provides the scavenging to help these out because they're designed to go in place of stock manifolds uh, with the factory Y in place. So, um, then the mid length obviously um, requires you to modify your exhaust and full length, which is what we're going to be installing, uh, does too. So, uh, now the other option other than shorties and, and mid length is the long tubes. Now, there's once you get into long tubes, there's different versions of those as well. So you have the single piece ones that would go and just cram themselves through that tiny little hole right there. And then there's the other ones that are multi-piece, which is what we're gonna be dealing with because you can see that all mine are in. That's, that right there is this side with that collector right there. So that's all just this left side. Now, you're probably asking your, yourself how are all these and everything gonna get through that hole and that's what I was wondering when I first got these two um, but or I'm gonna show you how they get through that hole so one other thing we're also gonna do um, I've heard of stories where people have had issues with their bolts with long tubes in particular and I don't want to have to find out the hard way I've found out a lot of stuff lately the hard way and Kind of just going to go ahead and do something and be preventative. So what we got today is Some stage. Can you see that? Yeah, so some stage 8 locking fasteners. So basically what they are I'll show you. So they have these little Ring these little things right here. They have a kind of like a 12 point uh, Design right here and what they do is is they gonna go and made up to these bolts right here they actually have a groove as you can see right there maybe maybe not and you're able to take these C or eclipse is what they're actually called so basically you're locking on the bolts you got those little teardrop shapes and you're gonna rest those up against each one of the uh, pipes that it's near and it actually has some angled ones that go down just in case you're not near a pipe um, but this is just so that it doesn't back off uh, one of the things is is you torque down your your header bolts and then you go for a little bit and you check them later on down the line and a lot of people have never had any issue with it at all uh, and maybe I you know maybe I wouldn't either you know put them put them on put some stock ones in torque them down and maybe I don't have any issues but maybe I do I don't like I said I'm not looking to try and find out the hard way today so that's what we're doing all right so these are them the, this is the passenger side, I should say, and they are in place. Now, I still have to do each one of the 
locking in, but I'm not too concerned with doing those at this present time. Um, right now I'm more focused on doing the driver's side and then I will do all the little clips all at once. But as you can see, these two middle ones actually run on the outside of the frame and there's going to be some, maybe some issues with the turning. I'll check that out once it's down. Uh, but you know we'll, we'll deal with all that and obviously there's probably going to be some small issues with the um, the wheel well here obviously uh, it actually states that you can't run it but I say challenge accepted and we were going to find a way to fit that wheel well back in here because I like having a wheel well in. this one's also rusted up up here so I might try and find a new one to cut up I don't know we might just cut up the rusted one um, note that when you're working on these start with this first one up here and put that one in and then put in the middle two you know it, it that seems like the obvious way but I actually put the two in right here not thinking about this one right here and so now then I had to take the two out I mean I didn't tighten them down but then I had to take those out and put those in but now they are tightened down to 25 foot-pounds so they should not be coming back loose and then I'm also going to put the, like I said, I'm, I'm going to clip them like they're supposed to be done. And then we're going to come over here and we'll probably go ahead and pull this out to just get it out of the way so we're not having to mess with that. And we're going to have to pull this steering shaft off because, and then we're also going to have to do some, now, one other thing I want to show you over here. There is a brake line that actually you see nope you don't so there's a brake line right there as you can see it's pretty close so I'm gonna take it loose from that little bolt right there and I'm gonna see if I can actually just bend it up because if I can just get it up and over enough out of the way like over you know open open over that direction somewhere then it'll be fun. I'm not too worried about it then. I can put like a little uh, heat wrap or heat, heat something around it, you know, so it doesn't get messed up. No big deal. Uh, and then over here, the same issue. Uh, let see if I get you a good view of it. So we also have this, this cable right here that's going to be kind of in the way. So we're going to have to think about that. That is the emergency brake. Yeah, I believe really, that is the emergency brake cable. So we're going to need to keep that. And that wire is out of the way, so I'm not worried about that. That is, what is that? That is fuel pump. So we're probably going to be redoing that wire. Have a solid wire from the relay all the way down. But we're not worried about that right at this moment. But you see that brake line right there? That brake line is going to be in the way. So we're going to have to move that one out of the way too. Uh, I don't see any way to move it though. So we're just going to put the exhaust in and see what happens. Because it's supposed to run in this area right here. So I'm not sure how. Because then there's also, there's also these brake lines too. Right here. But I can probably get those out of the way. Maybe. Because it goes down there and it bolts in right there. So. Might have to do some relocation of these brake lines to, in order to make these work. All right, so like I said, this one's gonna go. Just gonna go right about there. And so we got our handy dandy gasket that we're gonna go ahead and plop right here. Attempt to hold this with one hand and that ain't happening oh all right because uh, i wasn't in the right spot there we go uh, all right so we'll go ahead and, because this won't be in the way, I don't think. 
I do believe, though, that my safe cylinder, or, uh, yeah, my, my clutch master cylinder, yeah, I do believe my clutch master cylinder is probably going to be in the way. Hmm. We're about to find out, though. Yeah, I mean, we gotta take this stuff off anyways. All this stuff. So, because this piece uh, don't want to go in there maybe if we take out this one but I still don't think it because I mean then you got this one right here mm. yeah gonna have to I'm gonna have to reroute all that stuff. Okay, so I've gotten the master, start, uh, the clutch master cylinder out of the way. And here's the front. I had to cut the rear off because it did not want to come off. Now, I'm gonna try and put it in here and just, we're just gonna have to see what happens. Um, Cause I'm not really sure how this fits in here. I don't know if this needs, I mean, these, I can get these out of the way. That's nothing. Well, I say that and then, yeah, there we go. So that I'm not worried about. This. Ah. All right. I'll let you just hang out right there for a second. I gotta grab some bolts. All right. So, uh, it's it's easier to get this stuff in. So, with these particular headers, go ahead and take the steering shaft out to do the first one and the and the last one and you really only need it for the last one so put the last one in and then you know put the steering shaft in i don't know i i have these two in and i end up before i had to literally take it out to get it in um but it will work though uh, grab this oh. So, and the steering shaft still works, I do believe, let's see, is it hitting? Ooh, it is hitting right there. So, well, that one's lost forever. Hmm. When it's sucked up tight though, will it still rub? <laughs> It's gonna come up a little bit. All right, so after much work, uh, I did have to end up uh, hammering in a little bit of this and I may have to go in and hammer a little bit more. Uh, it's kind of close to this. Uh, I will try to show you that real quick. Um, so, let's see if I get my flashlight here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty tight, and I'm actually curious myself. And I'm probably gonna have to do, I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit more uh, clearancing on that at some point. But yeah, for right now, I think I'm gonna roll with it and see how it goes. Um, let me clean you off real quick. Hey, there you go. All right, so. What I gotta do now is retorque everything back down. Well, 
uh, these four bolts I gotta retort down. Uh, but with the added difficulty of having this here uh, steering shaft in the way, so that's gonna be fun. Um, it's, it's gonna be a challenge. Let's see what we can do. Okay. And then the fun one. Hmm. See, the thing is, is there is no clear way to get to this thing. And this is why I had the steering shaft out because you can't get in there. tighten her by hand with the wrench and hope that she's tight tight enough that means we're gonna go extra tight with this <sighs> that's as tight as I can tighten her with the little tiny wrench I feel like that's going to be good enough. It's got to be good enough, right? Well, Y'all didn't get to see putting these on the last time. So, I, but basically, I had to make some of these because I didn't have enough of these things. These angled ones. So, I'm going to go with right here. So, you got to think about it. You got to think about the way that the screw is going to turn to loosen. And that's where you want to place, you know, up against something. So, hang on, let me grab a screwdriver. Push that on with. Hold it with your finger, because you don't want it shooting off. And then... There we go. Click. And let's see here. I think uh, I had to do an angled one on this one. Oh, dang. All right, that one worked out pretty good. Now, if it's within like I don't know, an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch, you know, from from where I'm actually, you know making contact then I'm okay with that because I mean in that short distance that it turns it's not going to be loosening en up enough to uh, let any exhaust gas out at least I hope not so this one yeah this one lines up pretty good too now the the little thumb screw, the little E clips, they're tough to put on by the way. Because that'll happen. I'll grab it in a second. So it's good to have a screwdriver ready. There you go. Bam! Ow! But don't do that. Ah, such a satisfying sound. That means these things are never going anywhere. Ah. Yeah, let me put this back. Now, one thing I'm gonna make sure I do is things like this that are resting up against the exhaust and things like this and this right here and all of this, I'll have to actually reroute those uh, in ways so that they are no longer near the exhaust, but it's not gonna be a problem. And it appears that the steering works so 
Dang, you can almost see both of them on either side. That looks so good. Bam. Steering in there. Bam. Mmm. Looks so good. Now I can get my spark plugs put in. So, let's get a close up look. So this is what you're trying to do here as I was explaining. Is, so, you know, the screw is going to turn this way to loosen up. So you got these hexes on. These little, these little tri triangles. And what they do is they rest right up against there. Or, or really close to it. Like say, say like this one right here. It's not necessarily there, but it only has to go like an eighth of an inch before it stops so and that's the basically what we did all the way down for each one of these so and like i said the reason why i did this was because there's people that say that with long tube headers the bolts like to back out and my buddy harlan actually recommended that i get these he has some on his long tubes and he he enjoys the heck out of them so i was like well i mean they were good enough for you. They're good enough for me too. So went ahead and picked them up. And yeah, see it's getting so much Earl is getting so much closer. Good Lord, I, man. Like I said, I still gotta figure that out. But I had to take all that stuff off anyways at some point because I gotta go with the um non-ABS um portioning valve. And then I can run those up. I can connect into there because I, I cut that off properly with a pipe cutter and everything. So I can reroute it up and, you know, maybe up somewhere. I don't know. And, and I'll probably get some sort of like um, heat wrap type stuff that's for these uh, brake lines. That way they're completely protected. And I'll probably do that on this side too. But, uh, I mean, as far as installing the, the long tubes they're done and this side is going to be challenging to install the the uh, the wheel wells but i i have a feeling i'll get it done but as of right now they're not going to be on but in time i'm gonna i'm gonna get them back on i, I promise you I, before this thing's running i'm gonna have them back on so whew, she is she's so much uh, earl 2.0 is coming together so much better looking looking good all right guys so that's it I and mean, that was the full install um and i want to say thank you guys for watching and hopefully you hit that like subscribe button if not hey like i said doesn't really matter you're gonna do what you do so later